Hey guys, welcome to today's video and I wanted to share with you guys my luxury handbags wish list. And I think these luxury wish lists are really, really helpful because it can really help you decide in making your next purchase. I am personally someone that is pretty impulsive when it comes to decision making. So one moment I can love something so much and then the next moment I'm like, yeah, I'm over it. And that's why I think making a wish list and really sitting on it, thinking about it and just keeping it like that for a couple months or maybe even years and then looking back at it and thinking, hmm, do I still want this? Is this still on my wish list? Because I personally consider luxury items as a real investment. Maybe not to resell because I do keep all my bags and I love wearing them. I am not planning to resell any of my bags. And for that reason, I really want to be 100% sure of my purchase because I am keeping it long term and I want to get the most use out of my luxury items. If you're new here, hi, my name is Angela and I'm so happy that you're here. I post videos on my channels about fashion and luxury. So if you love those topics, I think you're really gonna love it here too. And I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you do so, also don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Now let's get comfy, grab a drink, a snack, and let's jump right into the video. Now the first bag on my wish list is the Loewe basket bag. I love this bag so much and I'm really looking for a bag that's kind of a travel tote but that I can wear and feel very stylish as well. I truly think that this is a spring and summer staple and I just have been eyeing this bag for quite a while. It came out a couple years ago and ever since it came out I've just been eyeing it and I really love it but I never pulled the trigger and I really think that this is the year that I want to add the Loewe basket bag to my collection. This is a basket bag made out of palm leaves so it's a raffia style bag and it has leather parts such as the handle and the logo. Now the reason why I really love this particular Raffia style bag is because of its price. And as I was looking into different designers, I really feel like the Loewe basket bag is the most affordable and I really love the style the most. I just think that this bag is really going to elevate my spring and especially summer wardrobe. Now the next bag on my wish list is one from Burberry. And this is a first because I've never had a Burberry bag on my wish list. But as soon as I saw this on the website, I immediately fell in love. And it's the Burberry Penny Bag. Now this is a small bag and it is a cross body bag. Now I love this bag because it's very simple and classic. And I love that it has a little bit of the Burberry checkered in the front of the bag. And that is actually made out of a coated canvas. But the rest of the bag is made out of leather. And I love that the lining of the bag is also leather. So it's basically a lot of leather. And for the price point, I think this is great value. The penny bag comes in two colors, in a black and a tan. And I honestly love both. I feel like it's so hard to decide, but I think I am going for the tan color because I think this will just pair beautifully with a lot of my neutral outfits. And I am kind of envisioning it with wearing it with a trench coat. So I think that is gonna be such a classic Parisian or kind of like London-esque style. It's just a classic and timeless bag in my opinion. Now I know that with the penny bag, the strap is detachable, so you could also wear it as a clutch, but the reason that I want to add it to my collection is because I'm just really looking for that classic everyday crossbody bag. Next up, we are moving on to some of my favorite luxury brands of all time, and that is YSL Saint Laurent. 
Now there are two bags on my wish list that I would love to add to my collection and the first one is the YSL Toy Lulu. Now this is a bag that has been on my wish list for a long, long time. So I have the Mini Lou in my collection and at the time I was really contemplating on either buying the Mini Lou or the Toy Lulu. But at that time I went for the Mini Lou because I thought the Mini Lou is a perfect day to nighttime bag which it is and I love wearing it for going out but I still haven't moved on from the Toy Lulu and I would love to add this bag to my collection. Now the Toy Lulu comes in a lot of different and beautiful colors but the color that is on my wish list is the all black with black hardware. I think this bag is just a great everyday bag and it's very understated because of the black hardware and I just think it's one of those bags that you can just literally wear with any outfit. That is one thing why I think you can't really compare it with the Mini Lou because it has the chain strap and a chain strap always makes the bag a little bit dressier. Now because I wanted a more casual crossbody bag but that still looks very chic, I just think the Toy Lulu is the perfect bag for that reason. The next YSL bag on my wish list is a new YSL bag. Now this is the Sank Asset and this is a hobo bag that blew up in the last couple years. I would say especially last year, every influencer was wearing this bag and I love this bag. I think it's such an amazing shoulder bag, but I personally never had the need to add that bag to my collection. But YSL came out with a bigger version of the Sank Asset and it is the Sank Asset Soft Small Bag and I love this bag so much. It currently only comes in two colors and there's a dark burgundy color and a black color. Now I really want the black one and I love this bag so much because it looks like the Sink Asset but it just looks bigger, it fits more and it is just the perfect everyday shoulder bag but that is also just very casual for those casual outfits and I am obsessed with this bag. This bag I definitely want to add to my collection. I love the way it looks. I think it's just going to be very practical and I can't wait to add this bag to my collection. And last but not least, I have a bag on my wish list from Louis Vuitton and Louis Vuitton is also a brand that is very close to my heart and I'm talking about the Bologna bag by Louis Vuitton. Now this bag is a beauty and I really think that this bag reminds me a lot of the Prada re-edition. Now for the longest time, the Prada re-edition was on my wish list and I actually mentioned it in my last luxury wish list video but I have kind of fallen out of love with this bag because I feel like it's more of a trendy bag. And one thing I really don't love about the Prada re-edition is the nylon strap. I feel like it looks a little bit cheapish, the guitar strap, it's just not really my style. And that's why I really love the Bologna bag by Louis Vuitton. I think this has a little bit of the same vibe because it has the gold chain and it is a shoulder bag but that you can also wear as a cross body and I just love this bag so much. And as you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of Fashetta, the raw cowhide leather on Louis Vuitton bags but this is the treated leather and it's black and it's just so beautiful. I even have my Alma BB in the black treated leather because it's just so carefree. I don't have to worry about anything when I wear that bag and I really think that with the Bologna bag it's going to be a similar thing. It is a worry-free bag. It looks gorgeous. It does have the coated canvas but that makes the bag very strong and durable and it still has enough leather on the back that I think it's worth the purchase. Now if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much. I hope you liked it and if you did, I put another video on the screen that I think you're really gonna like and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!